Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 2 for the solution of statistical physics CC12 paper on the year 2021 for the Calcutta University question for semester 5. Today we want to discuss question number 2 to 4. For question number 1 uh, solution, there is a part 1. You can go through the description, link are given there. At first you can see the total question paper of this year 2021 of University of Calcutta. In question number 1, this is 1 to G, this is done in part 1. Today I want to discuss this question number 2, question number 3 and question number 4. And the upcoming session we will be discuss question number 5, 6 and 7. Clear? So I request all of you to try this all this question at first. You and then continue the video towards the solution of this question, right? So go to the answer of question number 2a, which says what is phase trajectory of a simple pendulum forming small oscillation so that the area enclosed by the trajectory is equal to the product of total energy E and the time period T of the pendulum. So the potential energy of simple oscillator is Ep equal to half k x square where k is the spring constant that is m omega square where m is the mass of pendulum omega is the angular frequency which is 2 pi by t that is t is time period and the kinetic energy of simple harmonic oscillator is the Ek equal to half m square hence the total energy is the kinetic energy plus potential energy that is half k x square plus half m v square so you can change into the velocity in terms of momentum because is the phase uh, trajectory that means the uh, in the phase trajectory actually the graph between uh, momentum and the space that's why we change this velocity into momentum that is p equal to mv right so you will be get this type of equation this is the elliptical equation so this will be the ellipse okay so that is the answer of first part Next part answer you see that obtained before this equation is obtained before as the semi major axis is root under 2 e by k that is the this is the semi major axis of the ellipse and this is the semi minor axis of the ellipse and semi minor axis is like that. So area of this trajectory you know the area of a ellipse is pi into a into b where a is the semi major axis and b is the semi minor axis. So put this value of semi major axis and semi minor axis you will be get this equation and you know this omega equal to 2 pi by t so you will be get 2 pi 2 pi cancel out e into 2 that is energy into time period which we need to prove here that is the total energy multiplied by time period. So I think clear of this answer if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box. Go to the next one. Next question says that energy of a particle 1d has like that this is the energy of the particle in one dimensional motion <coughs> where P in Q is the generalized momentum and coordinate like that calculate the specific heat. So this is the energy. So the partition function that is 1 by H because this is one dimension you can see here that is the 1D that's why we written as the 1 by H. If this is two dimension it will be written as 1 by H square in three dimension it will be written as 1 by H cube. You can go through the theoretical part of statistical mechanics physics. There is a separate playlist. You can go through this for theoretical part also. Where we discuss these things already. So this partition function is 1 by z into this uh, integration on the generalized coordinate and generalized momentum part. Okay. With exponential like that. Put this value of energy and separate out with the momentum space and the uh, momentum space and the generalized coordinate space. And using this gamma function easily you just find out this value and continue just this is the internal energy right. This is the z function after that you will be get internal energy that is minus del del beta of ln z. z is the uh, partition function put this value of z and integrating you will be get this kvt and specific it will be like that okay. I think clear if there is any edit out you must comment in the comment box you can go through this calculation very easy i think you can do that next question says that a system of capital n classical particle in thermal equilibrium and distributed between two energy level that is the two energy level that is minus delta by 2 and plus delta by 2 first write down the partition function then internal energy and entropy then specific heat and plot the specific heat and entropy as a uh, temperature and explain high temperature low temperature behavior 
so the partition function uh, uh, will be like that our particle are classical so they are distinguishable so partition function will be like that g1 into the minus beta epsilon minus so beta epsilon 1 is minus delta by 2 and plus delta by 2 will be like that so for n particle this is for single particle for n particle z1 whole to the power n so this to the power n and you know this is 2 cos hyperbolic beta delta by 2 very simple i think you know the hyperbolic function now the internal energy this is the partition function now the internal energy is nothing but del del bit of ln into partition function put this value ln means n is in the front and this is integration of del del beta that's why in in front of integration like that so taking this derivative with respect to beta you will be get this one so finally ln of this so 1 by this one and integration of this one is 2 cos and integration again with respect to beta that is delta by 2 so this gives you the tan hyper, uh, hyperbolic beta delta by 2 and this is n delta by 2 you will be get this one so this is the internal energy like that okay so corresponding Helmholtz free energy will be like that minus kt ln zn so put this value of ln zn is like that uh, this is the Helmholtz free energy after that you will be get the entropy that is del f by del t with respect to t if you derivative so for first one this is gives you this minus minus cancel out so this is kb uh, ln of this and then plus nk is common so derivative of t is 1 so ln of this plus t multiplied and this ln of this mm, uh, derivative will be like that finally you will get this one this is the expression of entropy okay this calculation you can do very easy this pressure uh, hence the pressure expression will be like that minus del f del p will be equal to like that which is zero because because here are no the function of v since p is zero so enthalpy is like that but you know the specific that constant volume del u del t and specific that constant pressure del h del t since h and u are same so these two are equal and this will be like that del u del t if you they are taking the derivative of this u with respect to t <coughs> with respect to t if you take in the derivative with respect to t this is constant and tan hyperbolic is sec hyperbolic square and derivative of this with respect to t equal is like that so this u gives like that this is the specific heat okay now we need to plot this graph this is the specific heat and this is the temp uh, entropy you just plot this 1 by t square plot is like that and 6 hyperbolic square uh, will be like that and the super position is the red color so this is the uh, plot of the cb and the lower this is linear and in upper this will be saturation constant value okay and entropy graph will be like that this is for this negative part and finally the total will be like that so at low t mm, s is low actually this in the graph this is the graph with respect to t and this is one by t so this is the graph with respect to t sorry for <coughs> this one so uh, at low t this is small and for high t s is high because this is negative value okay next one find the variation of specific heat cb as a function of temperature as a photon gas you know from the radiation black body radiation the energy density will be like that so the total energy will be like that since this is a 1d box the volume integral gives you only length of this yes and this integration can be calculated like that if you take this h nu by kbt as a x so nu equals to kbt x by h and d nu equal to kbt dx by h put this value i will be get this integration and in this is a common integration very well known integration its value is pi to the power 4 by 15 this common integration value is 4 to the 5 uh, pi to the power 4 by 15 put this value will be get this one so the specific heat del u by del t if you derivative with respect to t you will be obtain this one so this cb varies with the t cube so this is the variation of cb i think clear about this answer next question give the energy of a system or uh, temperature t and volume v is like that actually this is the internal energy of a photon gas uh, for your information i give you that is the internal energy of a photon gas okay so find out the entropy then uh, uh, helmholtz free energy and gives free energy 
So for, uh, you know this relation that is t equal to du ds or ds equal to dq by t. So s equal to dq by t integration. <laughs> dq that is derivative of this with respect to t you will be get this a into 4 t q v and by t it's like that. Okay. So just t is one cancel out and integration of t square is dq by 3. So this is the entropy. Now Helmholtz free energy u minus t s u is like that. This is the inter internal energy and t and s so this gives you like minus one third at to the four into v and then the grease free energy u plus pv that is the u minus t s is f and this is pv so like that so what is the value of p p is t ds del v so if you derivative with respect to v you will be get four third a t q so finally four third a t to the power four put this value here and calculate you will be get this answer I think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box. So this is all about me and this is my contact detail. You can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You will get the first related video some mathematics. Like this session. If you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from the video. Subscribe this channel if you mean this channel. Those already subscribed. Thanks for subscription. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video. So take care. We will meet to the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.